So I'm actually an introvert, even though I'm not shy. I have no problem with public speaking, but I have a huge problem with performing. So I have done like a couple photo shoots for a couple of friends, and I think I've been on a catwalk once, but when I was in high school and college, I was on tech because I wanted nothing to do with actually being a performer. So it's nerve wracking, especially with the quality of this outfit, to make sure I'm representing it to the high level of quality it deserves. It really has nothing to do with my performance, at all it has something to do with I'm super excited to work with Sam and then also my headdress designer from Seattle and if I'm going to get something made that is just this phenomenal it has so much detail in it I want everybody to take note of the hard work that went into it so if it wasn't a custom piece that I was wearing I would be like eh, whatever masquerade I don't want to sit in line for seven hours but I'm really excited about this I think it was just that I like fairy stories and I really liked the color scheme and I really like working with Ree. So I thought it was going to be a fun challenge and I actually wanted this costume that's based on the Dresden Files version of Titania, the um, fairy queen. And we worked together, kind of worked out some sketches and came up with a really cool kind of joint idea of what to do. and. Uh, I wanted to make sure that it was really wearable at con because it gets so hot in here so all of the pieces are separate. Don't cut corners. If you want to win, actually do the work or find someone who can. So I ordered a headdress from uh, a designer, an Etsy designer based out of Seattle, and she mailed it on Monday. I moved recently and my forwarding address caught the headdress in the mail system. So I went to my old address and I was going to go pick it up and sign for it at my old house, which is less than a mile away. Then when it got to Minneapolis, it went back into the mail sorting system because it got forwarded and it's a holiday today. So it didn't show up yesterday. It won't show up today. And if it, if I'm lucky, it'll hit the mail drop on Saturday morning. The, the dress is amazing. And I'm going to be in Art of the Dress regardless, but for Masquerade, it's a 10 point buck headpiece. It's like two and a half feet tall. It costs several hundred dollars to get commissioned. So if it's not here, it's kind of a big problem. But if my headdress doesn't show up, I'm going to have to drop out because it's going to feel, I can't in good conscience do this knowing that it's my definition of like half-assed. So, so that's really nerve wracking. Yeah.